The fume hood, a great blessing, yet a source of distress for many a safety director. Here's one reason why. A vapor source placed in the hood lets us see what's actually happening. And if you take the trouble to pull the sash down to the marked level the way you're supposed to, yes, that's why you're supposed to pull the sash down. It does make a difference. Still, it's no guarantee. If something causes an air disturbance in the room, somebody walking past, or somebody closing the door on the way out to lunch. Yes, even putting your own hands into the hood or taking them out can set up an eddy current. And of course, it doesn't require a red line to remind you that your work should be at least four to six inches inside the face of the cabinet. One of my students was using radioactive iodide, uh, and he was using it to uh, to iodinate a, a protein. So you tag a protein with a radioactive iodine. During this process, he obviously became contaminated. And tracing back now what the problem was, how, how, did, how that arose, uh, was found that that hood was defective. So whereas the, we, we all thought that the radioactivity was being exhausted and diluted in the outside air, uh, that was not occurring. I think this points to the importance when you have, when you're doing experiments that carry this kind of potential risk, to be sure that uh, the, the equipment you're using is really functioning well. I think that's one of the lessons we certainly learned from that.